Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm forging a hardy tool inspired by a video from Glenn at GS Tongs. If you haven't already, please check his video out. I'll have it linked below in the description. You've already seen me mark out the stock for my hardy shank. Now I'm marking out 8 inches of 2 inch by 3 8 inch mild steel. I didn't want to subject the bandsaw to steel this thick, so I'm just cutting this section out with a cutoff disc and a grinder. I'm taking off the burr left by the angle grinder and realizing that my cut wasn't quite as square as I'd like it to be. This worn 120 grit belt just isn't doing the job, so I throw a fresh 60 grit belt on. one by 30 belt grinders have a spotty reputation for a reason, but with a decent belt, they are faster than a file. I'm going to start off forging by isolating the top portion of this tool. The first couple of heats I'm just trying to get a solid mark so that I can start drawing the tab out. I'm starting with the piece angled and as I work it down I straighten the bar out until it's parallel to the anvil. Now I can draw this section out. This is going to be riveted to the section of flat bar, so I want to widen and lengthen it. I'll be cutting off some excess material, but I'd rather leave too much than too little. I'm pulling out the guillotine tool with some fullering dies to clean up the transition between the shank and the tab. This is a very simple guillotine tool inspired by a video from Mark Asprey. It's pretty rudimentary, just one and a quarter inch square tubing welded to a three quarter inch square shank, but it does a great job for what I ask of it. Since I still have a lot of heat left in the steel, I'm going to start thinning out this section of the bar. I make sure to clean up the shoulder every time I thin the bar to keep the thickness consistent.
Now that I'm happy with the thickness of the tab, I'm checking how it will mate with our other bar. This looks good, so I'm going to move on to drilling the holes. I'm painting some red dicum on this bar and scribing the rough center line. I'm going to be drilling two half inch diameter holes in both the bar and the shank, but I'll wait to mark the other piece until I've drilled the first two holes. Off camera, I mark and center punch both holes. In hindsight, I should have started these holes with a much smaller bit before moving to this 5 16 inch drill. This press is a bit underpowered, so it stalled a few times going through. With some cutting oil, it went fairly smoothly though. The half inch bit was a breeze by comparison. After moving my camera back to the forge, I heavily countersunk the outer holes to give the rivets their clamping force. As Glenn pointed out in his video, it would probably be easier and stronger just to weld this. But as you're about to see, riveting is one of my weaker suits in blacksmithing, so I wanted to give this a shot. The main issue you're seeing here is that I didn't get the rivets hot enough, so by the time I had them positioned, they were too cool to move significantly. A spacer between the workpiece and the anvil would have helped too, but I get a sufficient joint for the usage this tool will be seeing. Off camera, I've cut off the rest of the tab, ground off the rivet heads, and cleaned up all of the surfaces. A hardy tool like this has countless uses, and I've ground some different profiles into the bar. 
I might change this in the future. After using a little, I think I might make a few in different thicknesses and profiles. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. If you didn't, then please let me know what I can improve on for next time.